So how many of you actually go off-roading? And no, I don't mean the small amount of dirt you kick up on the side of the road once in a while or driving over some grass. I mean real off-roading, rock crawling into the wilderness, better yet into the desert where you really get to test the capabilities of something like the Ford Raptor. The Raptor has been the king of the off-road since 2010 and Ram recently joined the battle with the TRX in 2020. However, the Silverado has been MIA from this fight. As a Chevy fan, if you wanted an off-road focused Silverado, you'd have to go for the trail boss. Until now, because there is a new boss of the trails. My name is Omar and this is the 2022 Silverado ZR2. So we've been waiting a very long time for Chevy to give us an answer to the Ford Raptor and the Ram TRX, and this is the closest that we're going to get. See, here's the thing. The Ford Raptor is the most capable and the most engineered to tackle any type of terrain. It really can go anywhere and do anything. The Ram TRX may not be as sophisticated as the Raptor, but it comes in really strong with over 700 horsepower. And the Silverado ZR2, well, honestly, it doesn't seem like it's really trying hard to take on any of those two, and that may not be a bad thing. See, those that buy a Raptor are either just fans and won't really do any off-roading at all, while some will actually buy it and put it through everything that it's capable of. Ram TRX buyers, on the other hand, just want the bragging rights and the ability to say, I'm faster, I'm quicker, I have more power, and I'm louder. Silverado ZR2 buyers, well, I'm guessing they know that they aren't going to be doing any crazy high-speed Baja racing. They either want a tough off-road focused pickup that they will most likely drive on the road. On the other hand, some might actually do some intense off-roading, rock crawling, and all that fun stuff. And don't get me wrong, I'm not making fun of anybody that buys one of these three trucks and never takes it off-roading because that's who I am. I'm really not into that intense off-roading lifestyle. I like to live on pavement and have a presence, and these three trucks will give you that. I've done some extreme off-roading, but it's not something that I'm really that knowledgeable about. So as an on-road daily driver truck, do I recommend you buy the Silverado ZR2 over the Raptor and the Ram TRX? Let's find out. Let me give you a tour of the toughest Silverado yet, and then I'll give you my opinion on whether or not if you should buy it over the other two trucks that are inspired by dinosaurs. Either way, make sure you hit like, make sure you hit subscribe. All right, let's do this. All right, let's kick it off by talking about the ZR2 part of everything. Under the hood, you have a 6.2 liter V8 making 420 horsepower and 460 pound-feet of torque. Now, that's not too far off from the 450 horsepower and 510 pound-feet of torque that you get from the twin turbo V6 in the Ford Raptor. However, it is pretty far off from the crazy 702 horsepower that the Ram TRX makes. There is a Raptor R on the way that should make more than 700 horsepower. As for the Silverado ZR2, there is a ZR2 Bison on the way, but that won't get any extra power, just some extra off-roading equipment. That said, we're not sure if the ZR2 will ever see something north of 700 horsepower. Besides the V8 under the hood, the ZR2 has a range of other off-road specific equipment, including Multimatic DSSV spool valve dampers. It also gets specifically tuned springs that increase front and rear travel with 9.8 inches of travel in the front and 10.6 inches in the back, which is two more inches in the trail boss. Just those two things alone make the ZR2 really capable, giving it the ability to articulate in all ways to tackle off-road terrain or go on a high-speed desert run while minimizing impact. Now, while we're down here checking out the off-roading equipment, let's check out the tires. You have 33-inch Goodyear Wrangler mud train tires wrapped around 18-inch gloss black wheels. These are smaller than the ones you get on the Raptor where you can go up to 37-inch tires, as well as the T-Rex where you can get 35-inch tires. You've got a large underbody aluminum skid plate right here. You've got a pretty tough front steel bumper, and you can actually remove this portion of the bumper on the left and right side to give you some more clearance when you're off-roading. Of course, you have front and rear lockers, and you need those for when you're doing some aggressive off-roading. And Chevy also relocated the rear exhaust for some extra clearance. Other than that, there are a bunch of off-road chassis and suspension calibrations, including a terrain mode with an enhanced two-speed transfer case and one-pedal rock crawling. That said, this being an off-road focused pickup, it definitely looks the part. The new Silverado design has been pretty controversial, and I have to admit that I wasn't a fan of it at first either, but the ZR2 looks really boss in person. First up on the front, you'll notice you have a really aggressive and blacked out grille with the red Chevy flow tie badge. Now, that doesn't do anything for off-roading, but it looks cool and provides some additional airflow to that 6.2 liter V8. The other part that makes this front look really aggressive is this raised blacked out hood with a 6.2 liter badge right here. 
Not to mention you have a bunch of ZR2 badges all around this thing to make sure everyone knows that you have the cooler Silverado. On the side, you've got some rock rails right here, some black cladding to protect the paint and the body for when you're off-roading. Now, in terms of ground clearance, you have 11.2 inches on the ZR2. Comparatively, the Raptor has 12 inches and the TRX has 13 inches. Now, back to the front really quick, I want to point out two things. You have these bright red recovery hooks that look really nice. And then you have these sleek design LED headlamps with these really nice daytime running lights. And when you turn on the indicators, the daytime running lights turn into sequential turn signals that look pretty cool. You also have another LED light right here. Not sure what the purpose of this is. I guess it's just to make it look a little bit more aggressive. And of course, I absolutely love this color called Glacier Blue Metallic, and it will cost you an extra $395. But yeah, that said, this does look tougher than every other Silverado, but not as tough as the Raptor or the TRX. Those two just have a super wide and super tough stance. Let me know what you think in the comments about the design and if it's on par with the Raptor and the TRX or if Chevy could have made this a little bit beefier. Now hop inside and you'll see a ZR2 badge right here on the sill plates, letting you know you're about to hop into something cool. But yeah, once you get in here, you're welcome by the new updated interior of the Silverado that you see on all 2022 models. And I will say that it's actually very nice compared to other off-road trucks. The overall feel is pretty high quality and very comfortable. Now, of course, this isn't the GMC Sierra Denali Ultimate Quality, which I recently test drove, so check that out. But it is pretty nice in here with some pretty high quality materials throughout the cabin. You get leather seats at standard here on the ZR2. They are comfortable, but a little bit on the harder side compared to the ones you find in the Raptor and the TRX. If you go for the ZR2, since it's already so expensive, you get front heated and cooled seats as standard. Rear passengers sitting in the back will enjoy heated seats as well. And you also get a heated steering wheel. Both of the front seats are 10-way power adjustable. Usually the passenger seat gets it's, you know, manual adjustable seats, but you both have power here and you also get memory seats for the driver. Another cool thing that I found is that you have a power tilt and telescopic steering wheel. I expected it to be manual, but it is powered. So that's pretty good. Now, one thing that you probably want as standard, but will cost you extra money is the power sunroof. And that will be an extra $995. Now let's talk tech really quick. Like most new GM products, you get a bunch of updated tech in the new Silverado. First up, you have a 13.4 inch touchscreen display that houses the new Google powered infotainment system. You can log into your Google account and bring all your settings in here, but you do get Google Maps as your navigation system, which is pretty awesome. You also get access to the Google Play Store where you can download other apps like Spotify, NPR, whatever you want. And you also get Google Assistant so you can ask her to control various things in your ZR2. As for smartphone connectivity, you're working with wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto as standard here, so that's pretty solid. And then the camera game here is really solid. You have a bunch of different viewing angles, including a 360 top view. You have camera angles for when you're off-roading, angles for when you're trailering, and you also have a bed view camera, which if you need to look what's going on in the bed of your pickup, you can. And driver assist tech wise, you get everything that you want. You get adaptive cruise control, you get lane keep assist with lane departure warning, you get parking sensors, you get blind spot monitoring, you don't have Super Cruise here on the ZR2, but yeah. The other screen that you have in here is this 12.3 inch digital instrument cluster. You have a few different themes that you can pick from. My favorite one is this one right here called Progressive. It's nothing crazy fancy, but you do have a bunch of useful information in here. Other than that, you have a seven speaker Bose sound system in here for your listening pleasure, and it sounds pretty good. Now let's check out the rear legroom, which is one of my favorite parts about half ton pickups. It is kind of difficult to get in here, but once you do, you have 43 0.4 inches of legroom back here. I'm about six foot tall. That's my seating position. As you can see, plenty of room. You can literally live back here. Not like most pickups, you do have some storage right here underneath the rear seats. You can lift that seat up as well. But new GM pickups also have some hidden storage right here in the actual seat back. That's pretty dope. Now, of course, since this is a pickup, we have to talk about the tailgate in the bed. The ZR2 has what's called a multi-flex tailgate, and it will cost you an extra $445. I've already shown you this in my GMC Sierra Denali Ultimate review where it's called the Multi Pro Tailgate. So check that one out as well if you're interested. But yeah, you can just hit this button right here and the tailgate will open the regular way. And then you have this little bed extender over here in case you want to throw in longer items and need additional support. You have this little area right here and that's pretty cool. The second way you can open it is by hitting this button on the top and that will open up the top half of the tailgate and you can use this area right here as a workspace. And then you can also flip up this area again if you want to throw in longer items that need some more support. If you push both buttons, the tailgate will do the whole multi-flex thing and both parts of the tailgate will drop down in their own way. Then you can fold this part up. You also have this little handle right here that you can grab onto and use this part as a step to get into the tailgate. By the way, this doesn't have the whole Bluetooth system that we saw on the GMC Sierra Denali Ultimate, which, yeah, it's a gimmick, but it would have been nice to have that gimmick in here as well. 
Now, before I give you my opinion on how the new Silverado ZR2 drives, let me put out a few important daily ownership highlights that I love to show all of you. You have six cup holders, two in the front right there, and then you go around the back and you have two right there, and then you have two in the center armrest right there. Here are what the keys look like to the ZR2. No ZR2 logo, just the Chevy badge. I believe the Raptor has a Raptor logo on the back. Door open and close sound from the outside and from the inside. Solid. Charging game wise, you're working with a USB A port and a USB C port right there. By the way, while I'm here, I do want to point out you do have a regular glove box, but you also have another glove box right here. Pretty cool. You've got a wireless charger right over here. In the center armrest, you have a USB A and a USB C port and a household outlet right there. I'm pointing with my shadow. Rear passengers also get a USB A and a USB C port for their charging needs. Let's do an indicator and horn sound test. Indicator first. Same old skipping GM indicator. And now for the horn sound. That's solid. I like it. All right, first things first, let's talk about how the Silverado ZR2 stacks up against the Raptor and the TRX in terms of pricing, because this thing isn't cheap by any means at all. The Ford Raptor carries a starting price tag of $69,905. The Ram TRX starts at over $80,000. The Silverado ZR2, well, this starts at $69,165 which puts it toe to toe with the Raptor in the pricing game. Nonetheless, I will say that the ZR2 does come with a lot more for that price tag in terms of features, comfort, and convenience. Now, of course, in today's climate, there's no way that you're gonna get any of these three trucks at MSRP. So if you're interested in any of these, please make sure that you don't get taken advantage of. But yeah, in terms of on-road driving, the Silverado ZR2 is very well behaved. The Multimatic dampers definitely make this a hardcore off-roading truck, but they also help give this a very composed and comfortable ride on everyday roads. The back end really doesn't bounce around a lot and you don't feel like you're driving something that wasn't made for pavement. Now, for those of you that are upset with the Raptor for going with the V6, the ZR2 comes out with the V8. And while this V8 makes 30 horsepower less than the Raptor, this doesn't feel like a slow truck by any means. The power delivery is just so instant. In terms of zero to 60, the ZR2 will take five and a half, 5.6 seconds. The Raptor will do it in 5.2 seconds. The Ram TRX, well, that's on a whole other level. I've actually tested the Ram TRX and I hit 60 in, in three and a half seconds, which is absolutely insane for a vehicle of that size. Of course, the Ram TRX is also louder and just over the edge when compared to the ZR2 and the Raptor. I will say this, that all of these three off-road focused trucks are really solid on-road daily drivers. The ZR2 here just feels just a little bit more calm. Now, even though the ZR2 is a very large pickup and weighs over 5,600 pounds, it handles surprisingly well. It'll take exit ramps and sharp turns in a very confident manner and won't completely lose balance. Both the Raptor and the T-Rex also have some pretty dynamic characteristics, but I will say that the ZR2 feels easier to drive on a daily basis. Now, in terms of hardcore off-roading, from the videos I've seen, the ZR2 is definitely capable. The Raptor is obviously more capable, but the ZR2 isn't that far behind. In terms of towing and hauling, the ZR2 will tow 8,900 pounds with a payload capacity of 1,480 pounds. Keep in mind, other trims of the Silverado will give you more. So if that's what you're looking for, you might want to shop around a bit. Now, all that said, in terms of fuel economy, all three of these off-road focused trucks will be pretty expensive as a daily driver. The ZR2 here averages an EPA rated 14 miles per gallon city and 17 miles per gallon highway. I'm averaging after a few days of driving, let's just take a look, a total of 13 miles per gallon. So yeah, get ready to pay up at the pump. So do I recommend buying the ZR2 over the Raptor and the TRX? Well, that depends. The TRX is obviously louder, beefier, and way more expensive. The Raptor is closer to the ZR2. So when it comes between those two, I guess it really comes down to whether or not if you're a fan of the Silverado or the F-150. I mean, we definitely know that Silverado and F-150 fans constantly battle. So they will pick the truck that they most love. But if you're not picky about brands, the Raptor will give you more of a presence, but the ZR2 will give you that V8 power. But yeah, the choice is really yours. I personally would go for the Raptor, but I would recommend test driving both before making your decision. Either way, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit like, make sure you hit subscribe. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and on TikTok. My handle is at Omar Drives. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace. I will say this, that when the Raptor R comes out, that will also be a $80,000 plus truck like the Ram TRX. 
That means the ZR2 will be the only off-road focused, crazy off-road focused truck that you can get with the V8 for around $69,000. So there's that. It's just not named after a dinosaur. ZR2 Brachiosaurus.